check out the size of what this guy's towing. about an hour from Darwin. Yes! Darwin, I can't believe it. Darwin. 112 kilometers. Wow. <laughs> That's a good feeling. Well, you're not going to believe it, but I've just driven to Darwin. <laughs> Unbelievable. Four and a half months ago I left. That's how long it's taken me to get to Darwin. Darwin, did I say that enough? Darwin, I'm in bloody Darwin. <laughs> Fantastic, far out. Can't believe it. Four and a half months ago I left South Coast New South Wales and now I'm in Darwin. <laughs> oh, unreal. So I've got to wait 17 days because Carolyn flying up. So I've got to keep myself occupied for the next two weeks. Oh, Howard Springs. So I've got my pilot there in front of me. <laughs> oh, it's good to have a pilot. Show you the way. You need a hand getting her in or anything? No, no. Okay. So virtually, you're from, I'll show you where you are. So I just made it look, just a slight comment. I said, mate, there's no shade here. <laughs> so he went away and he's back now. And he said, mate, I found you another spot that you, that's shade. <laughs> so um, that's pretty cool, isn't it? He's got 47 arrivals today. Yet um, found a shady spot for me. How nice is that? How are you? Good buddy. Gotta find you a better side, eh? <laughs> <laughs> One thought, I was, uh, that was alright. A bit dusty, mate. Like. <laughs> he hey, said, he, I got a nice shady one for you. 159, he said? Yeah, so just follow me. Follow you. Yep. We'll yep. You there. How good's that, eh? Fire out, that's bloody good service. Nine's got a nice shady one in there. It's like the Taj Mahal or camping grounds, well, camping spots. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, how big yours open up? Does it just pop straight up? Yeah, it pops out about two metres. Does it? Um, That's right. Yeah, I don't even know which way this one goes. That's uh, right. So, you know, the campground's great when you've got two people who work here. We were both searching for a shady spot for me to get me out of that sunny spot. Two of them. So they've just put me here. And how nice is it? Look, I've got shade everywhere. That's a nice big site. Yeah, so very, very happy with these guys. They've been great. Look at it. It's just... pristine. I parked it so I can look out into this bushland here, away from the boomers. <laughs> Alright, let's set up. Alrighty, I've just been moved to my new site and I tell you what, I'm, I'm very happy with it, very happy with it indeed. So, take a look. And all that shade from these trees right above me. This is my outlook. Bushland. And my neighbours 
or all behind me. There they are, all there. So I'm in this little alcove all on my own. <laughs> fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. See, all you got to do is ask. All I did, I said to them, mate, it's really sunny here, what you saw. And he moved me. Just brilliant. So in light of my new spot and how good it is and how shady it is and how private it is, I'm going to stay here longer. So Carolyn arrives in Darwin on the 16th and today's the end of the month, the 30th. So I'm going to stay here until the until Carolyn arrives. Because it's really it's only 40 minutes to Litchfield and it's about an hour and 40 to Kakadu. So it's kind of like the, the, the perfect sort of center point between the two. Um, yeah. Yeah, so it just saves me having to pack up go somewhere else and stay for three or four days or whatever, five days, go somewhere else. I'm also just stay right here because I'm really happy. So I'm here for two weeks. Bloody beautiful. Oh, it was a bit nasty. <laughs> well, here I am at um, East Point Beach in Darwin. So I, I, I've made the I've made the ocean. So fortunately, fortunately it's low tide, uh, so I can see if there's any stingers or crocs about. <laughs> uh, so box jellyfish season ended in May, so we're, what are we now, the 5th, 4th of June? So I still got to be careful, but I, I just got to get my feet in the water. I reckon this water feels as though it's like 25 degrees. It's just beautiful. I wonder what lives down those holes. There's quite a few of these holes about. Another one here. Anyone know what these holes are? I'll just throw a little fishy stick its head out of there then. Uh, this morning I'm going on a um, bit by mosquitoes on a boat cruise um, to see crocodiles. <laughs> I can't wait, I can't wait. And you know, barramundi and, and birds and all that sort of stuff. Um, it's about half an hour away, it's along the um, Adelaide River. Uh, yeah, so it should be fantastic. So we'll, we'll catch up very shortly. <laughs> Here we are, the Adelaide River.
Well, how good was that? That was fantastic. I only went for an hour. Um, but yeah, we saw heaps of crops. And um, the hawks that were flying around. Um, yeah, that was great. So I just had a look on my Google Maps because I don't, I don't want to go back to camp just yet. Um, so I found a place called um, a gun prison farm. Gunpoint old prison prison farm. Uh, so I've just pulled off the, um, the highway and um, now I'm um, going straight in the bush. <laughs> so hopefully the uh, uh, my directions are correct. <laughs> It doesn't look like this road has been used in a while, this dirt, dirt road. So that there is a, um, a baseline air pollution station. So that's got nothing to do with where we're going. Remnants here. No car over there. I'm not sure if I'll get out of the car just yet. I'm going to have a little look around first. So there, there is people living there, you know, squatters, I guess. There's a couple of four-wheel drives in there, um, and I think they're using one of them purely for a source of power. Um, so being on my own, I'm not going to go get out of the car and wander around through there. But look, with all those high grasses in there, you had no idea what snakes are wandering around in there anyway. But um, yeah. Good to have a look. So the one other place we're going to go and have a look at is the uh, Gunpoint Beach. Let's check that out. And this is the uh, road to the beach. Can't swim at it though. <laughs> 